Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you are already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week and sometimes I'll bust out a bonus video, so I don't want you to miss any of them. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that I picked up during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. And I know this has been long awaited, but blame it on the holiday shipping time because even still at this very moment, I'm missing two items to show you guys, but I'll just pop up a picture uh, somewhere throughout the video to show you guys what you are not seeing here in person. Um, and I'll just share with you everything else. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the great finds that I scored during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, then stick around. things I want to show you guys are some jewelry pieces that I have been living in and you guys have asked me on my vlog channel and things like that and I also got a request on um, doing a video on affordable high quality jewelry so this is the perfect time and this video is sponsored by Anna Luisa Jewelry. So the first item that I want to show you guys and I'm super excited about is this three piece necklace set you guys. Now when I got this off of the website I really expected for this to come in like a conjoined one piece but it's not it is three different necklaces and you get it all in one bundle price I absolutely love that because you can mix and match these necklaces with different necklaces that you already have in your wardrobe and I like how they do like the little uh, different tiers so this is called the Ava set it is 14 karat gold plated you get three different necklaces and you guys it is such an affordable cost you only pay hundred and twenty five dollars for all three pieces absolutely love this set let me come a little closer and show you so here you get this smaller piece which is gorgeous and then you get this little mid-level piece that has a black stone and then you also get this little cute piece here love this so yeah guys I've been wearing this non-stop I've been mixing and matching especially with the shorter piece and the longer piece uh, the black piece you know I wear that when I'm just wearing like my blacks and golds and stuff like that but this shorter piece and the longer piece because it is a solid gold piece I wear it all the time and I mix it with like my cross necklace that I have from them um, so many different pieces I just love this set so much and was super excited to find out that it was three different necklaces now I also have on these gold hoops from Ana Luisa and you guys are no stranger to these I wear these hoops all the time these are called the Tia hoops but I love them so much you guys that I had to pick them up in silver same exact hoops just in that nice shiny silver you guys they are so gorgeous i love the weight i like that they're not huge but on they really do make a nice statement but still like appropriate in my case for work church wherever you're going you're appropriate and they still like i said they make that statement so i love these so much you guys these are called the t so now i have a gold pair and a silver pair now i also have this gold ring now this is called the bianca ring and these types of rings are hugely on trend right now pretty simple but they're still bold at the same time i absolutely love this ring i'm wearing it as a midi today and i just love this ring like it's so gorgeous it's simple um but you know it adds that like extra oomph to whatever you're doing because when you accessorize you automatically look pulled together so love this so much it is 14 karat gold plated and also uh this is tarnish free and hypoallergenic so if you have sensitivities to metals like you should be okay with this one now last but not least i have these pearl earrings and these are called the sarah hoop earrings these are so pretty i love these first of all these are 14 karat gold and then you also have Swarovski crystal pearls these are so cute you guys know that i've been trying to get away from my hoops even though i love them so much but i've been wearing like smaller earrings whether they be studs like a pearl or something like that so i thought these would be really cute to add to my jewelry collection as well and i just love them so much they have a nice little weight to them but not too heavy for your ears you can tell they are of great quality these will make a great gift you guys and i also want to let you know that any piece of jewelry that you get you will receive it in this nice blue um Ana Luisa envelope so this is good for like keeping your jewelry making sure that it's not getting damaged and you also will get this box as well that you kind of just pull open it's almost like a little 
jewelry box there so you get the quality in the packaging which I'm a sucker for so if you're looking for you know gifts to get like your mom your grandma your aunt your girlfriend I think Ana Luisa is a great way to start especially if you are looking for quality jewelry that would not break the bank and they are also having amazing sales right now you guys their Black Friday sale is still going on and it'll all be going on until the end of December so run over to Ana Luisa and check out their selection I'll go ahead and link the items that I've showed you guys um, in the description box below so moving on let's go ahead and get into my fragrance thing so you guys know how much I love my fragrances and my candles and Blooming Bells was having a sale during Black Friday so I was able to pick up one of my favorite candles which is by Vela Spa and it is the blonde to back candle now I haven't even taken the packaging off yet I'm kind of afraid because it is glass but I've had this before in the smaller container and I loved it so much and I burned through the candle so fast faster than any other candle I've ever had because I was literally burning it every single day and I didn't switch it out. So I picked up the large one and I will say that the sizes are very different. So this is the $60 version um, and they have the smaller version which is like $30. So I went ahead and went for the big one. It is very heavy. It's gorgeous. The packaging is so beautiful and when you're done with this you can always just use this for something else so I went and got the big one I also did a blind buy and I picked up the bourbon the knee and you guys I'm obsessed with this smell as well totally wish I would have gotten the larger size but I didn't know so first of all look at this packaging like the packaging on this is gorgeous you guys it's like a milky glass with like gold speckle on it I just love this so much and this just smells like bourbon vanilla it smells like vanilla kind of like a coconutty smell very creamy kind of warm but also has like a light freshness to it I think that's more of like the coconut vibe that I'm getting so it kind of reminds me of like fall and winter and it's appropriate but it also kind of reminds me of the beach as well because coconut always reminds me of the beach but I'm so happy that I picked this one up this is 11 ounces 31 grams I think no 312 grams excuse me and I love this so I wish I would have gotten the larger size this one retails for $30 but I got both candles for $70 you guys so they were having a really good sale and I'm happy with what I got next I did pick up a fragrance which has not made it to me yet but there's a reason for that one so I asked you guys on Instagram to help me find a fragrance I was in the market for maybe a Killian a Barreto um a Mason Francis Kirk Dijon or what else Tom Ford always I love Tom Ford so I could not figure out what I wanted so I really was into trying out the Barreto 11th hour but none of you guys have really had experience with that a lot of you were telling me to try out Bald D'Afrique or something like that but I was afraid because the notes didn't seem to resonate with me very well and then with the Mason Francis one um, I wanted I could not remember if it was satin oud or silk oud and we don't have a Neiman's here so I just couldn't remember which one I liked and I didn't want to blind buy that one and so I just decided to go with Tom Ford effing fabulous you guys now effing fabulous is a fragrance that I have had a sample of for about six or seven months and I go to it only in the fall and winter and every time I spray it I'm like this is so unique and it's not one of those like oh I just you know it's wrapping me up and hugging me it's not one of those fragrances but one thing that I will say every time I wear it I get tons of compliments and I'm always just like this smells so different you know it's just it's an intriguing fragrance okay and the top notes in that are leather and it dries down to like a kind of a milky creamy vanilla base so I love a vanilla base I love a warm fragrance and that one is a unisex fragrance you guys know how much I love my unisex fragrances and Tom Ford I think um, 
the effing fabulous a lot of men can wear that but women love it too and it's very different it's not for the girl who is walking into the room hoping everyone likes her this fragrance is for the girl who walks into the room and lets everyone know if you don't like me that is completely fine but she's here and she's making a statement okay so if you are that girl definitely check out Tom Ford effing fabulous the name alone should make you just want to try it out and when I wear it I do feel effing fabulous so I did pick that one up and one of my um, followers, they told me to order from Selfridges because the conversion makes everything cheaper. So on the website, they had it for $230, I believe. And then you have to pay $30 for shipping. But because it was Black Friday, they were having a coupon code and I got money off plus free shipping. So I ended up only paying $207 for it in total. Um, and it's supposed to get here today, but it has not arrived. So Tom for effing fabulous. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Next up, I guess we can move into the few clothing items that I got. Um, I will say I wanted to shop the Zara sale, you guys. I really wanted to. So you guys know how Zara keeps everything in your cart. And I always just accumulate like 100 things in my cart so that once it goes on sale or whatever happens, I can pull the trigger. Well, this particular time, I was waiting Thursday. It, I was at the dinner table with my family. and I'm like, oh, got to get on the Zara app. The sale is on. Not one item that I had in my cart was on sale. I found myself shopping trying to find something on sale to buy and then it clicked because I was getting anxiety it was all going too fast so I said let's just wait since nothing that you actually wanted is in your cart let's wait until Cyber Monday because usually they do an additional 10% off oh but Monday came and there was no sale so your girl didn't get one item from Zara and Zara is now on punishment okay so instead I went over to H&M because they annoyed me <laughs> So I'm still missing. I didn't get anything from Zara this time and I'm over them. So H&M was having 30% off and I only picked up about three things you guys. But here is the first item that I am obsessed with. This is so pretty. Now this is like a champagne silvery sequin top with a high neck. This is so me like y'all know how I feel about a high neck. And this runs big. This is in a size medium and it does like fasten in the back here. So gorgeous, perfect for this time of year for Christmas holiday parties. Or if you're just like me, you'll throw it on with a pair of jeans and some nude pumps and keep it moving. But I love this so much. You guys, this was only $19.99 plus you get 30% off of it. So you can't beat that with the stick. Next up, I have this super cute dress, you guys. Now, I looked at this in the store and I said, oh my goodness, I need it. First of all, look at the sleeves, okay? Yes. Then it's like cable knit and it comes down into like a little mini dress and it has a high neck. Absolutely adore this. Went to the tag and I was like, I know this is going to be like $59, whatever, I'll get it. Um, but no ma'am, it was $19.99. This is a part of their conscious collection. $19.99, you guys, this is nice quality, pretty thick, like it is great. 30% off of $19.99. Like, you didn't think I was gonna walk out with this one? Yes, ma'am. And I got this one in a size large. Love this so much. Can't wait to wear this. It's just so perfect. Like, oh my goodness, so cute. And what a steal. And last but not least, I picked up like this soft mint sage green sweater. You cannot see all the detailing, but all of this is pearls okay all of that and on the sleeves I just absolutely love this sweater now this was already 50% off of $99 so $50 plus everything in the store was an additional 30% off for Black Friday yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am and funny thing is they only had one and it's in a size small but it fits me so cute especially with like high-waisted jeans so here it is look at the detailing you guys look at that gorgeous so freaking cute so cute right could not leave this in the store and it's very heavy like you can tell this is great quality 
And last but not least, I did pick up a pair of tights. I've already worn them. I think I wore them in my last um, Shein haul. They have the black little seam going down the back and they're like a sheer tight. Honestly, I've been wearing my Gucci tights out and I said, let me get another pair of tights. Um, so I picked these up from H&M. These are $12.99. They fit amazing. They have a nice control panel at the top and they just really fit well. I got these in an XL because I wasn't sure. And yeah, they fit great. So $12.99. 30% off you can't beat it with the stick and they have different um I think it's called deniers den so basically like the different um Mm, sheerness you know levels of sheerness so these are 30 okay and you can kind of see my legs through them very sexy but perfect for like the winter months love these now you guys know how much I love my top shop jeans I picked up another pair of black Topshop jeans. Now these are directly from Topshop. Usually I get mine from Nordstrom and these are the pure black Jamie jeans. I usually wear just the regular Jamie jeans, but these are pure black and they say that they're not going to fade as often. I don't know, but I tried these on and let me tell you, they suck me in. Okay. Love these. I got these in a size 12 and they are 30 inches long. So they fit me perfectly. Y'all know I'm short love these like they're so black and they really do snatch that waist in y'all so love these now these were on sale i think for 70 dollars, which i was slick annoyed about but they are usually 95 dollars. um but then i went to the nordstrom website and i saw them on sale for like 30 dollars, but they weren't the pure black they were just like black so i'm hoping these will last a little bit longer as far as the color and longevity but we'll see all right, so next up, I picked up a couple pair of boots. Now, funny thing is, I'm doing a collab with Nine West, you guys, and they sent me over some boots that I absolutely love. So I purchased two pair of them, okay, <laughs> during Black Friday. They were having 50% off, okay? And these boots go for $199, so had to grab them. So the first pair, they're the same thing, but they are both the Maxim boot. I just got two different colors. And the first one is this nice brown color, like a cognac color. I don't have any um, tall boots in this color. So I like the heel, it's not too tall. Very cute boot, very comfortable. They have like a zip here. Um, they're not stretchy or anything, so I wouldn't recommend them if your calves are huge. But if you have, I guess, a normal calf, and sometimes you can fit regular calf boots, and sometimes it's a little iffy, I would try these out because they are like the straight boot but on me they kind of slouch a little bit which I don't mind um, and I love these so these were $1.99 but I got them for half off so love these and I think they had like an additional 10% on top of that I know that they were a steal like I got both pair for like a hundred and something dollars I want to say like 170 so yeah love these so much these are real genuine suede you can't beat it with the stick. And like I told you, got the same exact boot, but these are in black leather. Now, funny thing is, I don't have a real pair of leather tall boots. All of my tall boots are like faux leather. They may be like leather at the foot, but of course the like shaft is faux leather to have that stretch. Well, these are like that wide kind of straight boot, so they do give you a little bit more room in the calf, which is why I recommend trying these on if you can. Um, but yeah, love these. Pick these up in black. Again, heel height, not too tall, but they still make a statement. Love that pointed toe. These are called the Maxim Boot. I will link them down below for you guys. Very good buy. All right, now the rest of the items that I picked up are luxury items, and I really didn't do as much damage as I thought that I did, but let's go ahead and get into it. And let's do shoes because I have about, hmm, three, I have four pairs of shoes here. So let's get into the shoes. Now my first pair of shoes, you guys, are these Prada boots. If you watched my last vlog, you would have already seen these. Now there's a story behind these boots, okay? So let's go ahead and open them and then we'll get into the story. Now the box is humongous. I picked these up from the Italis, which is one of my favorite places to shop for designer items. And this blue packaging is just like, oh, it's a princess. It's a princess box. All right, guys. So I picked up the Prada Combat Boots. I think these are called the Monolith Boots or something like that, Monolith. Um, and you probably have seen these 
everywhere like all over Instagram in the combat flat version with the like little packs on them. I wasn't sold on those. I mean, I thought they were cute and I thought they made a statement and I'm like, every blogger is going to have these, you know, great. $1,400 shoes wasn't my cup, right? Then I saw, is it Carol Star? Carol Star? I don't know her name, but she is very much so a fashionista. She had the heel version on and I could not take my eyes off of them so I'm online just going like where can I find these shoes okay so I started searching and I found them they retail for twelve hundred dollars so um, the Italist it never really comes up when you do a search okay but I did find them on Bergdorf Goodman so I said okay twelve hundred not quite they are bomb though and I'm like can I find these on sale I go to Farfetch. They had some for 800, but not my size. And then I went to the Italis and guess what? They had a size 38 and a half and a 39. I grabbed that 38 and a half so fast because guess how much they cost? They were $603, you guys. 603, okay? During Black Friday. I couldn't believe it. The thing that I love about Italis, guess what? You do not pay taxes, okay? And shipping is free. So I picked these up for $603. Literally, these are the most comfortable boots I think I've ever put my feet in, flat or heeled. They feel like clouds on my feet. It's crazy. Now, they are not everyone's cup of tea. But what I will say is that I absolutely love how the toe is not as... I don't know it's just not as harsh now it is a combat boot and it's a very much like it's a strong boot but it's not as harsh as the flat ones and you don't get the packs with these now I think Carol Star I think she had bought both pairs and put the packs on hers I don't need the packs I just like how these look and I think because they are as understated as they are and they you know they do have this platform and everything but I think these will last you a few seasons over the combat boot with all that going on because these are pretty trendy but I think this style of boot here it kind of lasts throughout the seasons and you may be able to look at these two three years from now and say oh I remember those boots from like 2019 but you're not gonna look at them and say like oh my god she has on those boots from 2019 and I feel like that's the vibe I get with the flat combat boot but you know it depends on your personal style like I always say if it goes along with your personal style you can carry the trend the trend's not gonna carry you I'm a heel girl, so this goes along with my personal style. I love a little bit of edge. I can dress these up. I can dress them down. It's really cute. So I'm super happy with these. I just feel lucky because, I mean, $600 and everybody else is paying like $1,400 plus tax. So, yeah, grab these. Super cute. Love them. Now, while we're talking about Prada, I might as well show you guys this piece because I only have one accessory that is luxury and I've been wearing it out you probably have already seen it but I feel so lucky to have it especially for the price that I got it for oh my god this is the box it is a Prada little box I love Prada's packaging it's so minimal you get like a little dust bag and here is the item You guys, look at this. I got the Prada headband, okay? So you guys know how much I've been loving headbands. I love the Prada headband as soon as it was on the market, but I just could not. Like, I was like, really? I'm scared. It's pretty big. Should I? Should I not? I had to grab it. So found this on Farfetch. I was searching for a long time, and this was sold out everywhere, okay? everywhere i think it retailed for 240 dollars then i found it on farfetch um it was still 240 but i had a 
what yeah i had a 30 percent off because i'm like a silver access member i grabbed this up so fast okay they do have more on the website and i'll link it for you guys but it's not on sale anymore so love this so much i've been wearing it non-stop and it's just it's perfect i love it all right guys so i picked up two luxury t-shirts and the first one is my beloved dior now it's still in the packaging you guys now i picked this up for a steal, okay? This is the t-shirt here. It is the Christian Dior Atelier, um, and it has like the Paris little situation going on. And here is the bag. I've been wanting this t-shirt since last summer. This girl on Instagram had it on Russian red, and she was wearing it like poolside. And I was like, I love that t-shirt. And I started looking for it, couldn't find it because I was looking in the women's section. Then I found it on um, the Dior website in the men's section, but it was $500. And when I picked up my Dior friendship bracelets and my sandals, uh, the Dewey sandals, I was like, I had that in the cart, but I'm like $500 or the sandals, $500 for the t-shirt or the sandals. I went for the sandals and I never went back and grabbed the t-shirt. I've always thought about it, but I'm just like $500, that is a bit much. I remember when I got my Gucci t-shirt and I paid like, how much was it? It was five something as well. Um, when I got that, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this thing down and sorry to that man and to that woman who is sick of it because y'all, I wore that every week, probably three times a week. This one is just so gorgeous, you guys. This is in white. I got this in an extra large, um, but it fits pretty nice, okay? The material is amazing. Like it feels nice and looks and just beautiful. So I got this off of shop375.com. Never heard of it until Black Friday. I follow the Lux Hunt on Instagram. I'm sure all of you luxury lovers probably follow her on Instagram because she always posts like the amazing sales like all throughout the year. But during Black Friday, like her Instagram stories are just going. Like as soon as you click on it, it's gone. You can't even find it anymore. So I, she posted something. It wasn't this. She posted something and I looked up shop 375 i looked at who was following them i think tamara follows them um who else there's this lady that i follow and i know all of her stuff is real um what is her name bipolar max um love her and i also noticed that fashion sherlock followed them so basically i was trying to do my research to see if this is like a legit website even though the lux hunt you can trust her too but I had never heard of it before, so I just wanted to make sure. I go on the website, so I just type in like different brands that I like. They have Chanel, they have Dior, um, they have some Fendi things. Now, I will say the selection is a very sparse, okay? They have the Dior slingbacks on there, just not in one that I would want. And when I typed in Dior, I saw this. They also had the black t-shirt that was even cheaper than this one, um, but the black one was only in a size extra small. And I'm like, that ain't gonna work. So they only had the white one in an extra large. And I'm like, oh, I kind of wanted like a medium or large. So happy I picked up the extra large. It fits so good. It, I love it. I paid 200 and I think it retailed on there for 265 Plus they had an additional 10% off during Black Friday. So I scooped it up. I think it's still available on the website. I'll link it down below. You guys, this is a complete steal. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I love wearing t-shirts, especially under blazers. And in the um, summertime, I just like tucking them into jeans wearing them with a cute heel and how cute is this going to be when i pull out my favorite dior mini okay love this so happy i got it it came with the tags on it and everything like 100 percent authentic you can see it there like gorgeous gorgeous i'm just I'm ecstatic with it. Now, the next four items are all Balenciaga. You guys, I'm on a huge Balenciaga kick. I love Balenciaga. I've always loved Balenciaga, but I've always just felt like I could not really afford Balenciaga for what it was. Like, Balenciaga is one of those designers that I really look up to. I love how they are able to encompass 
an edgy, architectural, ladylike vibe in their clothing. I just love it. It's just something about it that makes me happy. But Balenciaga things can kind of retail for the same as like a Chanel piece or something like that. So anytime I wait it out, I'm like definitely Chanel over Balenciaga, but I love Balenciaga so much. And I really feel like, you know, it does go well with my aesthetic. So all of that to say, I picked up a few items. The first item that I picked up is just this Balenciaga t-shirt in gray again amazing quality i picked this up from either my teresa or matches fashion i can't remember both uh luxury retailers this was on sale for 260 dollars as well i want to say love this it still has the tags on it i don't remember what this retailed for but i do know that you know balenciaga stuff or the t-shirts usually retails for like 600 or so dollars so got this for a good deal and another thing about balenciaga i have a hard time purchasing their items full price because nine times out of ten they do go on sale you just have to wait so yeah still has the tag and everything on it got this in a size large this is like an oversized fit but it fits really cute and i love it so much so it has the black um emblem here and it's really nice. I like this a lot. And Next up are a pair of shoes. And I'm sure you can tell by this black bow. It is from Netta Porte. So let's go ahead and slide that off. When you open it up, you have your dust bag. And here is the Netta Porte receipt. And here are the shoes, you guys. So I picked up a pair of the Knife Mules, okay? Now, these spoke to your girl. Now, I've loved these knife mules, but I was never able to try them on, and I was really afraid of how they make my feet look because I'm very short. Y'all know I'm short and stout, okay? So I just wasn't sure how this would look on. They're phenomenal, first of all. Now, I did like the higher heel, and I still may get the higher heel because kitten heels can be very weird to walk in if you are a heel wearer, I will say. Like, if you wear heels a lot, these are a little bit hard to walk in. So, they do have the higher heel height, but not in this. So, I love the pink, um, but one thing, you guys know, I'm a logo girl, not apologetic for it, and... The BBs on here in black, I mean, these sold me. This color is just, oh, it's magnifique. I love this color so much. They look so good on, they really elongate the legs. So with those black skinny jeans that I showed you guys earlier in these, oh my God. And even that um gray and black t-shirt, super cute with the black leather jacket. Like it's a whole vibe. So I love these so much. Very comfortable. They are leather on the inside, satin on the outside. They have the bow detailing and I just can't get enough of this color. Um, I got these in a size 38. I'm usually a 37 and a half and I could have gone a 37 and a half, but I wasn't sure because again, I had not been able to try these on and I know they're going to go on sale. So I was like, I waited. I ended up getting these for 200 and. $75 on the net to porte website. Love these so much. I'm on the hunt for more. They're amazing. Love these. Can't wait to wear them out. Like, oh, so good. It's funny how they're like super weird looking shoes, but once you put these on, they are pretty sexy. I have to admit. So the next pair of Balenciaga boots, I picked these up pre-loved, but they have not been worn before. And I got these off of Tradesy, you guys. Now, Tradesy sent me into a frenzy, okay? Because Tradesy was having like $100, $200, and $500 off, depending on how much money you spent, okay? So I have been on the hunt for the Houndstooth Balenciaga BB boots. Every time I found them, they were in the lower heel height. Finally found a pair, but they were brown houndstooth. And y'all know how I feel. I'm a black and white type of girl. I can't do, uh, I would not buy like a brown-ish expensive shoe. It's just not me. You know, it's just way too neutral. It's way too, I don't know. It just gives preppy vibes to me. I don't know. It's just not my thing. So I was 
torn, okay, because they hadn't been worn either. And I was going to be able to get, I think, $100 off of those if you spend $500 or something like that. So I just could not make up my mind. Then I came across these, okay, and I wanted the higher heel height. So you get your Balenciaga dust bag. And here are the boots, you guys. So I decided to go for a pop of color and these have never been worn. They have the Barney's tag on them still. It's a little worn off, but you can see the shoes have never been worn. And these are in Orchid Iris, I wanna say. Gorgeous, gorgeous. They have that gold Balenciaga, not one scratch on that emblem there. The heel height is a little bit higher than that kitten heel. I just couldn't imagine trekking around in a kitten heel boot. That's just not me. But this heel is probably, what, two and a half inches at most. So super comfortable. And these elongate your legs so much. Um, I just, I love the pop. Now, I will say I'm a little stumped on how I want to style these just yet because I don't own one thing that's purple in my wardrobe except for, like, lilac stuff. So... We'll see how I'm going to style these up, but they fit so well. They're just beautiful. I got these in a size 38, and I will recommend you sizing up a half size or going with your European size. So these are amazing. I love these so much. Brand new. Um, I got these on sale for $400 because they were retailing for like five, and then I got $100 off because I spent $500, so they were four. And yeah, great buy. Velvet, super soft. I don't think I felt um like luxury velvet before because it feels totally different okay it's it's different so love these so much please help me guys help me let me know how i should style these up how would you style up a purple boot obviously in a pop of a color type of vibe but help me i need your help so super cute love these and i'm happy to have them i know that i love the style so i'll still be on the hunt for the black and white hounds too okay I'll, i need those so last but not least here is the last pair of balenciagas and these are new season you guys pick these up from forward i love that website the styling on forward is it makes you want every single thing if you were ever unsure about like a weird item Go on forward and see how they styled it up. You're like, oh, because they make everything just look sexy and like it's a vibe. So anyway, here is my forward receipt information. You get your dust bag. What was that? And then when you open again, new season. OK, here they are in all of their glory. You guys, these are the Balenciaga fringe knife fringe pumps in white and look at that heel like is this not like elegance architectural lady likeness all in one like these are not for the faint of heart so balenciaga is known for doing the knife point they are also known for doing this square back on the heel and now this season they decided to add a little fringe detailing so these can kind of go like you know, like 1930s doctor, but Balenciaga vibes. So I love these so much. They have the new emblem on the front in silver. And yeah, I'm obsessed. Y'all know how I feel about a white pump. Okay. Needed a new white pump that was super comfy. These are very comfortable for them to be pumps. Um, I got these in a 37 and a half. I would recommend you sticking with your normal size. They're amazing. I can see these with an uh, all-black suit. I can see these with blazers and slacks or blazers and jeans. I can see these with a t-shirt and some jeans, um, a skirt. Like, I just love them. I love them so much. They're very unique. And these were like my impulse purchase, I guess, because I saw them and I was like, mm, not sure, but I just kept thinking about them, kept thinking about them. And Fashion Mother, okay, a London Girl NYC, she posted them as well. And I just, I love them. So I went back and they kept having my size on forward. They had a 37 and a half. Everything else was selling out except my size. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's, it's meant to be. So I went ahead and picked them up. Um, I did pay $697 for these. Um... And I got 
5% cash back. So not mad at it. They do retail for like 900 or something, almost a thousand dollars. I want to say 995. So still got a nice little penny off on these, but they're brand new. So love these so much. And I can't wait to wear these. I almost forgot. I have another item that has not come yet. Um, and it is another Lady Dior. You guys, I'm excited about it. So um, yeah, I'll pop a picture. You guys have seen Lady Dior's before. I may do a video on it, so I may not show you the exact one, but I'll just pop a picture up of what a Lady Dior looks like or a pop a picture up of me wearing my old one. So I got a new colorway and I'm excited about it. So yeah, that concludes my Black Friday, Cyber Monday, haul i hope you guys enjoyed it honestly while i was spending the money i felt like i had gotten way more things but i guess i didn't <laughs> i did rack up on shoes though i'm a shoe girl i can't help it um got me a bag at the last minute and then a couple t-shirts but i can't say that i'm done but what i am gonna do is take a break do some christmas shopping for other people and then I'll revisit the sales after that. But anyway, y'all, let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to link everything that I can still find for you guys in the description box and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye, y'all.